What's going on, Lawn Bros? What's My name is on? Jay. I'm Josh. Sorry for the uh, reflection of diamonds on us. We're hiding behind a trailer for shade to shoot this. We're going to get into a 2021 tour of our lawn care setup that we have running right now. And it's just going to be a an overview of what our 2021 setup looks like. Nothing major, but uh, it'll be a good learning experience for anybody that's wanting to get into lawn care. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Today we have for our trailer setup will be the Skag 36. Joshie's going to tell us all about this. What do you think? This is a great mower. This is one of my favorite walk behinds that I've used personally. It's the 36 inch uh, Skag walk behind. It's got the Kawasaki FX 481V. Oh yeah. It's the, uh, it's the nicest mower that you can equip this mower with. Um, yeah, it's, it's great. Let me uh, let Jay walk around it and he can get a view of this thing. So we can catch the deck height adjustment. Sorry, it's a little rough. You got one and a half to four and a half. And it's got a, uh, a 36 inch welded deck, so it cuts oh, yeah. really, really nicely. We can go over the controls and then we can get to our chute if you want to. Yeah, so the design of this walk behind, uh, you basically have your handles up here. You have your safeties in your left and right uh, adjustments right here. You have your safety locks that lock the left and right wheel when you don't want to move the machine. You have your on and off switch and your PTO switch, your gear selection, one through seven and neutral being down here. You got your throttle and your choke. It, it just makes for a really easy start and, and uh, really easy to use. The hydraulics on this mower are really, really nice. The fluidity of moving it left to right and forward and backwards are really, really smooth on it. This is a foot, foot actuated grass flap. It's as easy as that. Popping it down, popping it back up. That's really nice too, it's quick. Yeah, you can oh yeah. you can keep both hands on the mower. Yeah. You can have complete exactly. control and kind of control where the grass is going at the same time. I really like that. It's a great mower. It fits in in most four foot gates, and actually the 36 inches is still wide, believe it or not. So you can, you can cover a lot of ground and uh, get a lot cut in a, in a short amount of time. So it's a great walk behind mower. Oh yeah. Here we have the Toro Turf Master 30. That's got the FJ 180V Kawasaki motor in it. Runs fantastic. I really like this mower because it's not too heavy. You've got the self-propelled option here. You have the PTO engagement. You have one and a half inch through five inch height adjustment settings on the side. And to adjust this, you have your numbers here. You just pick up, lift, go to four, set it, go back down to three and you're good to go. Put her in choke, give her a pull, and then you pretty much just put her in high speed. The grass catcher, it really works well, especially for what it is. You know, here in North Carolina, the spring and fall, these fescues really like to shoot up. So it just gives the yard a nice clean blanket effect when you can catch all that debris and the clippings. When you put the grass catcher on, you have this right here. This will pretty much close off the chute to put that on and off. And you also has a, a side that. discharge yep. if you don't want to use the bagger, yep. And I, you know, I don't have any complaints out of this. The oil changes are so easy. One thing I do like is you have this, you have the engine guard. So the if anything bar, does yep, happen, engine, yeah. you know, this bad boy is going to be safe and secure. Oil changes are easy. You've got your oil access right here. Change it, you just take this off, pull your dipstick out, and flip the mower on its side. Drain the oil into the oil pan. Really Throw right some new up. oil in there and you're good. I believe it takes three quarters of a quart. Yep. So right. I, there's not a lot of complaints. The amount of gas this thing uses is slim to none. It, it's really good on gas for what it is. For a 30, I think it cuts really good. Yeah, it it's does. one of the nicest 30s I've used. Yeah. I, it, I really don't have any complaints with this bad boy. And this is something that, you know, we, we take pride of having on our, our charter for our 2021 setup. Oh yeah. Now, if you want to, we can we can both kind of dive into the our big the, boy, the big boy, yeah, yeah. Toro Z Master 3000 series. Oh yeah, with the 48 inch welded stamped deck on it. This is a great all around mower. It's very very versatile. You have the deck ranging from one all the way to five and a half inches. So oh yeah, the range of this deck, you know, you can cut pretty much any grass you want. You know, you can you can go in with the deck all the way up. 
and, and mow down some high grass, or you can get all the way down and, and cut your nice Bermudas if you want to. Really, really nice floating deck. You can see the anchors right here, all the way around, you have four points. So the deck really, really moves with the ground. It's really nice. It's the Kawasaki FX651V in it. And we really, really like this mower. Uh, it's actually, uh, I can show you this neat trick that it oh, yeah. comes with. For oil changes, they're extremely easy. You actually, you actually, yeah, there it is. Yep. So to drain the oil, you just take this off and it pretty much just it just kind of runs out oh it's all good it just kind of runs out and it really makes it easy for for getting fluids in yeah man you're good we'll see you tomorrow so it really comes in handy for oil changes it makes it a lot easier to do stuff like that around the shop you don't have to pay anybody to do it the advanced shoot system it works like a dream it closes real easy opens even easier so there's no strain or struggle trying to keep those beds clean, keep debris from flying all over the place when you want that nice clean look against beds. You have the adjustable seat. We have it slid all the way back. You also have the weight settings for the spring rate on the seat. I like the twin armrests that you have. Toro did a really nice job coming with that. I'll be honest, the seat's really comfortable and uh, there's not a lot I would complain about. We've got. 554 hours on this thing and it runs like a dream we have uh our normal setup is two weed eaters and a stick edger that's just like that's how we like to run things uh you know it's it's all off for preference and, and how many racks you have and what you want to carry on a day-to-day -day basis but for us this works perfectly because we usually have two two to three man crews so we just run it like this so um yeah we, we can start with our fs 90 r all right and um so this this weed eater right here is awesome. It's the precursor to the FS91R, uh, but I mean, same engine, puts out the same amount of power, and uh, it's very, very reliable. It's a very, very reliable piece oh, of yeah. equipment. We have a newer 91 right here, and I'll be honest, the only thing that I've noticed that I like a little bit more will be the, to kill all the power is this button instead of the switch, because I noticed a lot of the times people on our crews or other crews this switch since it's a little older this switch will get stuck in the stop position and people will go and try and start it and they can't get it started they think something's wrong but you just got to knock this down there and you're good to go so this edger it's the uh what is this the fc 91 fc 91 i love this thing yeah I'll be honest. so this is a top-notch stick edger you know you know most crews they roll with a stick edger versus um you know edging everything with a weed eater that's really the proper way to do it this thing i mean once we got it you know it doesn't sk skip a beat at all you know um, it, it has the uh the steel stamped uh edging blade on it oh yeah it oh has... these edging blades i believe these are uh these are what are these uh what are the gator blades who makes the gator blades I'm not sure there's a box in there that says it. Yeah, so these are, sure. they're, I mean, they're still good blades. I, I'll post in the description what the blades are, what blades we use. But, sorry, Josh, what were no, you No, you're good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this uh, this blade will last you two Oregon or three blades. days. Oregon, Oregon blades. Oregon blades. Oregon blades. They are That's the right. best edger blades. Came to you, yeah. Oregon blades. You know, we, we slap these on and off, uh, and they last a long time, edging all your sidewalks, driveways, all your hard surfaces. It's very easy to use. It starts right up. Um, this is actually an older edger, believe it or not. I was just about to say, yeah. you know, when you look at this, this FC right here, this bad boy, this motor, we decided to keep this. This thing runs like a dream. It starts first pull, you know, and that's an older one. The only thing we had to replace was the shaft because, you know, still wasn't playing around when they wanted to no. put some torque on these bad boys. Yeah, the edger oh, they is, put some yeah. torque on them. The engine is not the problem. It's really, you know, once you get down to the shaft and the and the curvature of the shaft, yeah, just the tension and the torque that's here on this bend right here. right here. This this line right here, these two lines. I don't know if you can see that. You might not be able to see it. You but can right literally here, see it on this new shaft, yeah. just right at this bend. The torque is all right here, and it all comes to this point right here. And it does wear out. It does wear out over time. But like we said, this is an old edger, and it's lasted for season upon season. 
Um, and the thing is, you can change the shaft out. You can change the, sh the whole shaft yep. and the head while and you're at it on the same motor. And this is a great, great machine. We use it every single day, um, yard after yard. We've never had a problem out of it. So this is what we run as far as our uh, handheld, handheld weed ears and edgers. We can move on. You want to hop into the blowers? Yeah, straight to the blowers. All right. These are our two main blowers. We actually have a 600 that we love to use starting spring and summer when you're just blowing grass, the occasional grass clumps on your higher, higher grass yards if you're cleaning them up uh, first of the season. But the 600 is great. Uh, it's actually in the shop, but the 600 has a smaller tube, a little bit smaller uh, engine on it. Doesn't blow as hard, doesn't blow as much. Um, but like we said, we love that it's it's light, it's versatile. Uh, you can basically blow off a driveway, you know, just easier to pick yeah, I, in, and, in and out of the truck. It's just easier to use. Before we got to that one down there, we'll get to that. But before we got the, the 700 and we had the 600s, I really like the way the 600s felt. I feel like the, the, the pivot of the arm was a lot smoother yeah, exactly. than the 700s. Yeah. The 700 kind of feels kind of bulky yes but the not, 600 not the, too the, bad. the tube diameter and the flow of it it, did, it just feels like you you know you're whipping it and it i don't know it's just easier we do it every single day so i mean that's just personalized stuff that we we like to incorporate you know switch yeah. things up but we can jump into this bad boy real quick if you want to hey guys sorry about that the other crews had to get in here but josh you want to hit our blowers yeah let's, let's talk about blowers so usually we uh we have three blowers our br 600 700 and 800 x uh, the 600 in the shop right now, but we actually, we use all three and carry all three on a day-to-day -day basis for, uh, just to pretty much cover all bases as, uh, as far as, as, as far as what they, what they're good at. Um, so our 600 is, is usually what we bring out in the spring and summer. It's really, really nice with the smaller tube to just blow off driveways and, uh, the occasional grass clumps. And it's also lighter, so we love using it. Um... Our, uh, our 700 right here, we bump up to the 700, you know, just for leaf season, it's, it's all around a, a great blower and you can use it to blow off a driveway in, in the middle of summer. You know, it's, it's good for leaves, good for grass, good for everything. It's the, the motor's strong enough. It's, it's an all around great blower. This one actually has a, a larger tube an upgrade from the 600. It also has an adjustable tube. So you literally unlock her and you literally can push it in and, and bring it out. It has a thicker harness right here, uh, just for a little bit more cushion on your shoulders because it is a little bit heavier than the uh, than the 600, but we like that too. We, usually, sometimes we'll run two 700s uh, in the middle of fall season. Oh yeah. But we actually just upgraded as far as our crew. We have a couple of these uh, in the company, but for our crew, we actually just got this a few weeks ago. The 800 Yeah, the Magnum BR800X. So, um, this thing is a machine guys. Awesome. Awesome blower. I'm sure you guys have heard of it by now, but, uh, this is the 800 X versus the 800 C with the side start. And the thing about the 800 C, just the reason, because the reason, the reason why we didn't go with the, the Magnum C, uh, just because of the, you know, how often we are, you know, taking it in and out of the truck and using the side start, we found just from experience, you know, especially when the blower's cold, the side start may not work as well as just the pull start right here. Just the, just the old conventional pull start, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We just go with that motto and use the old pull start just because of we have, you know, people in and out of our truck, different crews running on the same blowers, just yeah. so everybody's on the same page. So the side start is not really, you know, we, we wouldn't benefit benefit from that and, as much. Yeah. And also, you know, dude, like what I was thinking, you've used the, the C. I haven't used one before, but I feel like if it's not starting with the side start, you got to choke it, which means you got to take it off anyway. Oh, you got to take it off anyway. Yeah, and I feel... start from the side, you have to take it off anyway to choke it out. I um, feel like pulling this, dude, just right here, pop it, pull it. I mean, you just throw it on the yeah. back. And, and with well, how light this thing is, I don't have a yeah, problem taking it on and off. With this mid mid back heavy horn heavy thick harness this model you know however they design this it's lighter it's lighter on your back it's lighter to pick in and out of the truck and you know the pull start was easier so we just went with the 800x and uh that's what we upgraded to and we love it so far 
over the years of using the 600 to the 700 i've used the 8010 mm -hmm. from echo i've used the the 770 from echo yep. i say i like the steel handles better steel has done a great job with their controls um as far as the handle the on and off switch the trigger the cruise setting i mean i just think it's the best on the market as far i mean you can't go wrong with steel so i mean that's just I, what we run i got to agree because everybody knows it so that's just that's just what we run and like how we how we like to do it yeah oh yeah yeah well man i think we touched base on everything yeah i think that's the whole setup yeah all right all right guys thanks for joining in for our first video this is again our 2021 lawn care setup so uh, we're going to have a lot more videos coming out, dude. Oh, yeah. We're gonna, look out for them. Yeah. We're going to have some tutorials, striping techniques. We got a, a mean striping kit on the way. Spring just kicked off, and we're ready to throw some fat lines down and do some good videos for everybody. Yeah, I got a surprise on that one. Oh, yeah. It's coming in. It's on order. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and like my lawn care enthusiast friends, and let's get ready for a good spring and summer. How's that? See you guys in the next one. See ya.